Здравствуйте, чёрт, товарищи! Welcome back to our Let's Play of Kaiserreich, and I know I promised you war with Germany, but we're just not ready at this point in time. But, uh, we have done some things since we last convened, and let me talk about some of those things. Uh, first off, let's go over here, where I decided that I would invade Mexico out of some crazy, uh, I don't know, will to dominate. North America, but I haven't invaded uh, all these other countries, and I don't know if I will or if I'm just too lazy to do so. Uh, I've invaded Ireland and took Ireland because it was pissing me off just sitting there, you know, being all neutral and everything, so I decided that was going to end. But the most crazy thing I did is I finally decided it was time to uh, free the United Kingdom and liberate it and give it its own independence uh, because I decided in our upcoming war with the G with Germany and Russia uh, I'm gonna need all the industrial capacity I get and they're gonna make far better use of that uh, industrial capacity than I will because freeing them I've lost about 40 but uh, they've gained about 130 something something so it's it'll hopefully work out for the best the only thing is, uh, I'm not the top dog in my own alliance anymore. Um, who is? I don't know. Not me. I think it might be China now. Regardless, though, uh, everybody's still puppets of me. So, unless all the puppets decide to revolt simultaneously, I think we'll be okay. Anyway, I've decided that I need to spread my influence throughout Europe. So, I decided I'm going to take on uh, the Austrian Empire and its associated countries, which include uh, Bohemia, Hungary, Croatia, uh, whatever the hell this is, and Bosnia. Is that it? Uh, I think that's it. Yes. So, I'm going to take them over and try and, and make another uh, way from which we can attack and destroy uh you know, the German-Russian-French coalition that exists because it's a damn powerful force. So, I've deployed about 82 divisions, or 83 divisions here uh, along the Italian front to begin our surprise invasion of Austria. And apparently we're in really good standings, but who cares? Um, we'll bash that to shit and uh, begin the invasion. Beckers, they're just so itching to friggin' revolt. It's disgusting. But anyway, we'll cross into Venice pretty quickly, hopefully, and uh What the hell? Okay. Whatever. Okay, it looks like um yeah, the Kingdom of Montenegro decided it was going to declare independence. I guess it saw its opportunity with us declaring war and everything, but, uh... Well, now we've got 83 divisions attacking this one tiny little, uh, wow, the Austrians are not prepared for war at all. They only have, uh, 1931 infantry divisions. So we're gonna, you know, kick in the rotting structure of the Austrian Empire and hopefully turn it into something which will, um, be a far more use in our inevitable war against Germany. Cause that's all I care about, is I just want to beat those bastards. When push comes to shove, that's all that matters. Wow, they are really throwing everything they got into this uh, defense, but, you know, these guys will kind of probably get slaughtered.
come on guys, just break, break, break. Unfortunately, it looks like all these divisions are going to go to Austria. I don't know if there's a... Oh, sorry, not Austria. What the hell am I talking about? I mean, Italy. Oh, never mind. Let me just sweep across that way then to ensure that I control uh, all the divisions and uh, territories that I wish to control. Oh, well, the poor Mont uh, Montegrinese rebellion was crushed. They thought they could do it during a time of war. Uh, unfortunately, it turned out that that was not the case. Man, the Austrians are really throwing everything they got into these fights, but their divisions are being ground away into nothing really quickly. Like, look at these divisions. There's almost no strength left to them. Oh, they're throwing in more men. These poor 1931 and uh, 1918 divisions. Oh, God, it's just... It's a slaughter. It's a massacre. A slaughterhouse, etc. Oh, wow. Uh, fucking Americans have decided to join the party. Goddamn Americans, man. Well, we kick the crap out of everybody. All the divisions here, they decide they're gonna try and come in and take the glory that is unnecessarily theirs. So I made a bunch of big ticket items, um, or I bought a bunch of big ticket items, I guess you could say. Oh no, we're running out of fuel too. Anyway, um, so I usually uh, don't spend a lot of money. I'm usually pretty uh, a pretty frugal guy. Um, the only thing that really breaks that rule. Uh, and gets me to spend, you know, unnecessary amounts of money is, um, uh, video games and women are, are both things I end up spending way more money than I should on. But, wow, oh, they sailed in a bunch of, uh, divisions here to try and, you know, take the land, take the beachhead. In any case, uh, what was I only on about? But yes, oh, but uh, today I ended up spending a, a ton of money, way more than I probably should have, but it's okay. Um, so I went out today and I was at uh, the bookstore and I told you guys earlier that uh, my sister had bought me the, oh, before I continue the story, huge news. We have just developed the first nuclear bomb. Canada has just developed the world's first nuclear bomb. And the question is, are we going to use it? Do I even have a strategic bomber to load it onto and then use it? It's a fighter. Let me look at my air bases. I haven't built... We have the one strategic bomber. Uh, okay. I mean, I really kind of want to save it for the greater war because uh, you know we'll kick the crap out of Austria but it's there it's here for when we want to use it so I'm gonna actually save it I'm not gonna use it this time but know that it's there and it's loaded in our one strategic bomber which I'll actually probably build more at a later point but we'll develop more but anyway I told you guys my uh, sister had gotten me the uh, first. Oh, I was like, when did we get uh, these? Are Italian divisions the first uh, volume of the Walking Dead comics? And I really enjoyed it. So I went to the bookstore and I found the first. Uh, Jesus, what is it called? The first compendium, which includes um, 
the first 48 volumes, and it's a pretty beefy book. I don't know if I drop it here. It's uh, bigger than a lot of my college textbooks were. So I'm pretty stoked about that. But uh, then I also went out and I was at uh, so I was at the mall and I walked by EB Games and then I walked in and I was talking to the clerk behind the counter there and I was uh, asking him because last time I asked him if they had any Wii U's in they said no the wait it would be like six months or something like that and I was like oh okay that's shitty but uh, I came in today and I asked hey do you by chance have any uh, Wii U's in and they said we had we had one left they had one left and then I had this like urge, I'm like, oh my god, I gotta get it before, you know, someone else does. So I ended up in an impulse buy buying a Wii U today. And uh I haven't had a huge amount of time to mess around with it. What I will tell you though is that I did update it and it took an eternity to friggin' update the Wii U. And I've only had like uh, 50 minutes to mess around with Zombie U. And uh, I do really like the control pad. I think the control pad is really cool. And it actually feels like really good. Like I was really worried that it would be kind of bulky and whatever. But uh, it's really not. It's, it's surprisingly... It, it feels surprisingly comfortable. It looks like it wouldn't, but it really does. Yeah, I'm trying. Looks like uh, what's this island that they took here? I can't. I can't. Uh, the Bronvik. Looks like uh, our allies have taken this one tiny island. America. I think the Americans took it first, and then they piled in a bunch of divisions, but they're all trapped here and they can't escape. We also need reinforcements. Alright, well, let's move in and smash some more poor Austrian divisions. But if anything, that's how I'm going to defeat the combined mass armies of uh, our enemies, because they almost certainly will have more. Uh, divisions than we will have is I will nuke the crap out of them and I will find where they're concentrating troops and then nuke them and then destroy them and this is how Canada will rule the world Okay, well, the fighting is progressing slower than I would have hoped. But we're slogging through. Hooray, new technologies. Now let's uh, upgrade our strategic bombers to the point where they look like, you know, jet airliners. Now I've got a bunch more freaking divisions here. Move them up. guys so long to get there. Oh, it's because that province has no infrastructure. I guess that makes sense. Well, we are at least grounding or grinding rounding the Austrians down pretty quickly. There's not a lot they can do. Their divisions are uh, being bled.
I like this piling of our allies that just keeps on coming. They just keep throwing men into that one little gap. We're at 99.6% nine, progress in winning this battle. But they're still... Oh, there we go. There we go. Actually, no. Attack there. And unfortunately, it doesn't seem like the Italians have enough uh, fuel for our mighty army. How is Britain coming along? Where they still have no infantry divisions. I'd like it if they made some infantry divisions. That'd be really swell. Oh, look at this guy. General Suryov. He's got an eye patch. What a badass. I'm taking a lot longer than I really should, realistically, mainly because I don't want the uh, Italians to gain any more ground than they should or need to. Alright, allies, you keep those six divisions pinned right there. Don't let them get any further. China has started to deploy troops along their borders, though, but the Russians still outnumber them considerably. And, uh, Vietnam is replenishing some of its numbers, along with the mighty army of Laos, whose head of state is Eugene H. R. Utrope. That is a great name. I love that name. I think that's uh, what I'm going to name my son. God, where do they keep getting these divisions from? battle's over, we're going to have to take some time to reinforce our men. So we don't lose any divisions. Oh, we still have them all. Alright, well. Take the time to plug the holes. moving forward. Yeah. But, I think in the end, we've definitely done far more damage to them than they've done to us. Let's build a hydrogen bomb. Oh, we can't. Not yet.
but let's upgrade our infantry to the 1951 kind. Man, that was a lot of manpower. We needed to uh, reinforce these bo reinforce these boys. I like all the planes just zipping around. Alright. Well, time to move forward. It's not our army that's out of resources, is it? Oh, it is. Eh. We'll overcome such disadvantages. Apparently, we'll overcome such disadvantages quite easily. Man, I just love the, these allies, man. They're just so great. Taking that one to hold. Oh, here come the Americans. They're actually landing in the main fight. So that's good news. Oh, good. Armored divisions can be deployed. I'm really tempted to use my nuclear bomb. Oh, we've got an. Oh, we've got another one. Now we have two nuclear bombs. That's how badass Canada is. But I think uh, this war is going to become uh, much easier very quickly. Because uh, the Austrians are not having so much fun with uh, some of their troop counts. I'm trying to bring in reinforcements. Hey look, Britain has deployed its first infantry divisions. You know, Pax Britannia and all that. Okay, well... Yeah, that breakthrough's gonna happen any time. I think they might just fight to the last. Finally. All right, our mobile infantry division, our mobile divisions are through. So now, there they go. Decline. We can start. Uh, Surrounding some of these bastards. Which will be good for morale and the war effort and those types of important things. that I hear are, you know, necessary to fight wars and that type of stuff. 
I learned it all from a book I read one time. It's called The Art of War. Written by this Chinese dude. You don't need to read it. It's just rehashing stuff you find on fortune cookies. No, I, I, I have nothing but the utmost respect for the art of war. Uh, no. I, these friggin' events, they totally mess with what my uh, country is labeled as. One second, I'm a fucking radical conservative. The next, I'm a social conservative. It's just... No. Or, not a radical conservative, a radical socialist. Oh, there we go. It's pretty much over for the Austrians. Aerial support. Their allies will continue to fight, though. fight the, the good fight against the uh, oppressive Canadian regime. I can't even see where I'm going because so many planes overhead. There, I've got guys will develop us the hydrogen bomb. And I'm gonna sweep along the coast to prevent our allies from getting any nosy ideas. I think uh, Austria is done. It's not done. Oh, they still have a, a province or two down here. But the breakthrough has been achieved. Their lines are collapsing. Now we're finally moving into Hungary. Goodbye, Croatia. Space for my allies to actually do something. Alright, well, you're free to attack guys stuck on uh, Dubrovnik Island. 